We started off the day with a lot of clouds. It's just kind of a little bit damp, but yep. now we've seen more numerous showers develop. Actually, not a whole lot of measurable rain. Take a look at the numbers here. Less than a tenth of an inch for Hartford, for Willimantic, for Groton, and you're like, wait, it's been raining off and on through the afternoon, but it's generally been kind of that light nuisance variety showers. Two tenths of an inch in Danbury. Woo, that's the highest that we've seen. Although every little bit counts, of course, to chip away at the rainfall deficit. Taking a look at where we are seeing rain right now there was a little bit of a break in the New Haven area. Now the showers have come back in again, so obviously that'll affect the ride home from maybe somebody traveling from New York City back into Connecticut. You know, it's never good on the Merritt Parkway or 95 and rain just makes things always worse. Uh, we'll get seeing some pockets of moderate downpours and even a quick heavier downpour right now for Goshen heading into parts of Hartford County. Also seeing a moderate downpour right now around Mystic too. If we widen out the picture, you'll see this is the back edge of the steady rain, but we will continue to see scattered showers, I think, right into the evening tonight. So here's what it looks like on your future radar heading towards 930. I think the steady rain is gone, but we're still seeing areas of light showers and mist and drizzle. But what is this? That yellow orb in the sky coming out tomorrow. Of course, it'll be windy, but at least we'll see some sunshine and it's not going to be particularly warm tomorrow. We'll see temperatures around maybe even slightly below average for this time of year. So I do think the wind will start to pick up tonight. No wind advisories, high wind warnings, anything like that. But you know, as we head towards the news at 10 and after that, you might start to kind of hear the trees beginning to rustle outside and it'll be a blustery start to the day tomorrow. This is tomorrow's winds in seven, eight o'clock in the morning. We've got gusts around 30, 35 miles per hour, and then those winds will steadily come down as we head through the day. And then moving forward, I wanted to show you high temperatures for the day tomorrow, climbing into the low to mid 60s, bright and breezy conditions, and we stay dry on Friday too. Partly cloudy skies with high temperatures in the low to mid 60s, upper 50s it looks like here for Waterbury. The last couple of days we've been talking about the chance for some rain heading into Friday night. I think that's becoming less likely. We are going to see the chance for some showers though midday maybe afternoon on Saturday but I have to tell you this is not written in stone so if you're like oh bummer I wanted to do something Saturday wait another day hopefully we'll get a better handle on this because I would say the rain is not a guarantee yet during the day on Saturday we've been talking about the pollen count a lot over the last couple of days because it's been astronomically high today it's very high but it's about a quarter of what it was the last couple of days <laughs> and even that still puts it in the very high category. So the rain's helping, but if you suffer from allergies, there's really not much you can do this time of year. Seven day forecast shows again heading into the weekend. Best chance for showers midday into the afternoon Saturday. Partly cloudy Sunday for Mother's Day. There is the slightest chance for a pop up isolated shower, maybe 10% of the state, but a better chance for some rain Sunday night after the sun goes down into Monday morning, noticing temperatures there around or even below average here straight across the board, guys.